Morning, Alexa. That friend of yours already went off to challenge the next gym. Kabu's lead card is supposed to be to help against him, but I ended up with a few copies, so I'll give one, I'll give you one. Don't look so chuffed, it's no big deal. Take this too. It was something for our battle yesterday. You better hope you have Vern heal. Cause we're taking on the fire gym this episode. And it shouldn't be that difficult. Because we've actually got a pretty good team for fire types. None of our Pokemon currently are weak to fire types. Of course, Austin Showers is the main man of the team. You know he's going to be up front. Sorry, Reverb and Choxic, but you guys aren't part of the main team. Galahan missed out on last gym battle, so he's staying on. So that leaves Ace and Critias. Ugh, that's actually a little tough. Hmm. Huh. I'll have to think about this a bit. After some thinking, this is the team. The reason why I'm not taking Critias... Oh wait, I actually meant to... <laughs> I actually meant to take Critias. Well... Hmm. Yeah. Because... Both Critias and... Um, Ace have moves that are resisted by one of the Pokemon on Kabu's team. However, Critias isn't weak to the moves that the other ones have. So, I ended up going with Critias here. I accidentally put Ace on the team, and I didn't even realize that I was messing up my own plan at first. But here we go. Fire Gym Mission. The mission of, a fi of the fire gym is this. Catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn five points to clear the gym mission. In case you were wondering, you'll earn one point for defeating a Pokemon in the gr tall grass, or two for catching them. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in your battle. Think about what your opponents might do and try, and rack up try to take the best action to rack up points. Gym mission start. Oh, I should have tried to get, like, some quick balls or something. Oh, well. I'm just gonna throw an S ball, see what happens. One. Okay, did not work. Let's use Will-O-Wisp. Alright. Not that big of a deal. Okay, roll call used. Tackle. Let's use Bind. That's our weakest move currently. Incinerate. Okay, we've got nothing that I can incinerate, so... Okay, Rolly Coley's steam engine activated. 
And it's just gonna use tackle again. Okay, this roly coly isn't really being that problematic. I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball, we'll see what happens. One, two, three. Alright, that's two points. We just need to catch one and then KO another. And then we've got enough points. Uh, Vulpix is in the party, uh, can we get rid of it? No, we can't. Okay, then. Alright, let's fight a Litwick. Sizzlipede, a Pokemon we haven't seen just yet. Firebug type, that's pretty good. Uh, Bind is the only thing that doesn't do anything to it. Oh, and it was trying to wrap us. Pex. Ooh. Not okay. We're switching out the Galahan. Because I don't want to lose Austin Showers before we even start the gym battle. Alright, I guess we've been wrapped. But the sizzle beat's been confused. Okay. We'll go for a power trip here, because despite the fact it's super effective, it shouldn't do much. Yeah, that was nothing. Flame body? Eh. We can heal that. Thank you. Throw another Pokeball. One, two, three, and... Dang it. Well, it looks a pretty cool Pokemon, honestly. Bite, don't KO. Oh, ho, ho! Nice! And Galahan's down. Good, good, brief. great. Lots of fun here. Alright, I guess we're running in to the gym battle with only Critias and Austin Showers as like our main usable Pokemon. Alright, Critias level 26, that's not bad, I guess. There's our burn heal, and there is our only super potion, because I haven't been buying potions. Wait. Oh, I thought like I thought Litwick had an item on it for a sec there. Alright, Sizzlipede. I like Sizzlipede's evolution a bit. It's nice. Uh, we're gonna first impression, because it should not do anything. Yep, we don't even get to hit it. That's... Oh, but we get steadfast. Alright, that's a, that's a decent trade. Alright, let's rock smash. Oh. We're burning Curtius as well. Okay. That actually helps a bit. Because now we're not 
that strong <laughs> at all. Yeah, like that crit was nothing to it. Stop trying to burn me, you already did it. Alright, let's throw another Pokeball. One, two, three, and... Got it. Alright. We can heal the burn once we're done here. Alright, gym mission cleared. We caught all of them, and now we fight the gym leader. First, we gotta take care of this burn. And I think I've got some bear. Yeah, I've got some berries. We'll use them to heal up. Nice. Alright, we're going in with two Pokemon that I intend on using. For our third badge. And Kabu's right next to us. I like that. I like that... He... I like how there's like these subtle things that give you a look into their character. Kabu... I feel like Kabu joining us on the same side is like him showing that he doesn't feel like he's above us or anything. He feels like... He... he respect... he's showing respect. Welcome. I am Kabu, the Fire-type Gym Leader. The fact that you are here means you've bested both Milo's Grass Pokémon and Nessus Water-types, too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer and Pokémon trains hard in pursuit of victory. But that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. Motostoke's gym actually, like the stadium actually looks really cool. Alright, gym leader Kabu. Starting off with the nine tails. And we are starting with Critias. First impression shouldn't do much, but I'm going to start off with it anyways, as it's base 90. Okay, that was a decent amount of damage. Oh, critical hit. Alright. Ember. Okay, not that strong of an attack, but it'll... Now we can set up. Okay, we're going with will Alright, that's a little bit of a problem, but we can burn heal if it gets too annoying. Right now, we're just gonna let the duck take care of everything by hitting with a rock smash. Fire spin, okay. We're wanting to get the residual, residual damage in. Okay, that crit is a bit of a problem. Not doing that much, despite the fact we focus energy up. Okay, we should probably... Mm, yeah, let's burn heal. Fire spin. Okay. Little bit of a problem. But we're gonna... Oh, it's faster. Let's... Okay, Curtius is down. Now we've just got a solo with Austin Showers. That is a bit of a problem. Because we don't have Galahan to take on anything else. If we lose Austin Showers here, I essentially throw the match. Okay, Water Pulse is doing enough. All right, Arcanine. It's got Intimidate. Well, we're using special attacks, honey. 
We're using special attacks anyways, so it doesn't matter. Okay, agility. That could end up being a problem if we don't take it out quickly, but if we can... Okay. We just need one more hit, and I think I'm actually gonna sucker punch here. Oh, fail. Oh! Oh, he's going for will o -Wisp. Okay. If I knew about that, I would have just went for a water gun or water force, but I forgot about the fact his Arcanine also has will o -Wisp. Okay, bite shouldn't do too much. Yeah, we're good. But we flinched! Just in showers, why do you keep getting flinched by bite? Okay, water pulse, we're good. I'm technically allowed to use three Pokemon, so... I'm supposed to use three Pokemon, so while I don't have Galahan, the Pokemon that I was intending on using, I'm just going to use Litwick here to sap. Like, I'm going to use it to heal up. As he brings out his ace, Senescorp. We're gonna burn heal. Burn bright, and a scorch led Giganamax. Change your size. That's right. Kabu, third gym leader, is the introduction of Giganamax. With his Giganamax Senna Scorch. It is essentially bigger mega evolution. Changing the. It just. It's the only. Dynamax is for all Pokemon, but Gigantamax is not. Gigantamax is for select Pokemon. And it changes their appearance, they get a new special move. So, it's, it's pretty interesting, I'd say. I think Dynamax and Gigantamax is a pretty good gimmick. I prefer Mega Evolution overall, as do most people, but I like Dynamax and Gigantamax. But let's hope Awesome Showers can handle it. Alright, we go first. G Max, we got Max Geyser. Okay, yeah, we're good, we're good. Not a problem. Max Flutterby, okay. I spoke too soon, we lost. We technically lost. We technically lost. We technically lost because we lost. Well, then again, we didn't get to keep. Uh, we didn't get to keep Galahan up for the battle, but okay. What I will do. I will only use items and non-attacking moves. If I still somehow win, then we count it. If I lose, I lose. Yeah, Vulpix is down. We've got Sizzlipede here.
I can only use items and non-attacking moves. That is the deal I'll make for this. I don't want to win this way, and who knows if I will or not. I'm literally just waiting for it to hit itself in confusion. If it snaps out, then I lose. Like... Yeah, okay, smoke screen again. The rain stopped. Is the confusion gonna go away? Because if so, then I lose. It's like, that's, that's it. Yep, it snapped out of confusion, but it's only... You're only using smoke spring. Why? Okay, I don't have any revives or anything, so... Can't really do much. Bug bite. Let's just see if I get lucky and somehow hit despite how many smoke screens. I probably won't hit, but who knows. Oh. Uh. Okay then. This wasn't the way I wanted to win. And I mean, Sislipede's going back in the box, but okay. Well, um, I, d I did use an attacking move, so I didn't just do non-attacking moves and win that way. So I did break my rule. Mm, I might think of a way to... Okay. I broke my rule, so what I'll do is the next gym is coming up, and it's a fighting gym, and it has four Pokemon. For it, I will make it to where I can only use three Pokemon instead, and there shouldn't be any problems with me getting any more Pokemon that I can't use, that I'm not supposed to use, during it, so that's what I'll do. I'll make it to where I can only use three against the Fighting Gym's four. I think that makes up for it. Here we go. We've completed this part of Galar. Hurry it up, Electro. Huh? You're the gym leader. You still came all the way to see us off? Oh. I bet you can already tell that I'm the one who will become the next champion, yeah? There are many trainers who never manage to gather three gym badges. And they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. I barely defeated you, but... Whew, we made it. Thank goodness for flying taxis. Electro, Pop, congratulations. It's pretty amazing you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challengers are able to get a gym badge from Kabu. We like to get together and see them off as a way of showing our support. So allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chant. Hustle, 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 Hop. You can do it. You can do it, Electro. 
Gym leaders you face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thanks, you all. We're gonna keep winning. We've got to if we want to face off in the Champion Cup, after all. Come on, Electro. Let's head for Hammerlock. 